All right, welcome to Rot and Roll. Uh, this is the very first level of the ball. I called it Johnny and the Rotters, but apparently that was uh, not the right name for this level. I've got Blackbeard and, um, let's see, Mary Curie. I'm going to just turn the game volume down here a little bit first, uh, just to sort of make it easier for you guys to hear me, because I'm not sure how loud that is. Ooh, look at that. We've got really fun options right now. Must be a bug going on with that. Uh, although my build is a bit old on this computer, and it looks like the light maps in this level are a bit out of sync. Uh, some bright patches and things. It might just need resaved. But, uh, here we go. Let's see what we've got scripted in this level, because I don't think I've ever played this revision of it, or at least I haven't in a very long time. So this would have been the very first level in the mall. Ooh, they're jumping over the fire at me. And, uh, is not in the mall. It does have a light map. Not all of the levels that I'm going to do in these videos will have light maps. That was cool. Zombies breaking through some glass there. I don't know how often we do that in the other levels. Killing some zombies. This level was designed before Relics, and it's also the easiest level in the game. And I have some maximum upgraded characters. So it should be a pretty quick clear. Not necessarily a lot of fancy things are going to be in this level. Not only was it early on, but of course the level wasn't quite finished yet and look we've got some lights out there that look like they belong over here I'm starting to believe that this level might be somehow out of sync with itself Let's see how many other things are strangely out of place oh look those highlighted oh that means yep I can smash those there we go for some health Oh my, they're coming through the wall. Some cool stuff, I actually didn't know they did that. Now it makes sense why that wall is so bare, because I thought I put a big giant store sign up on there when I built the level. Some shopping carts of do. So yeah, this is, like I said, I haven't played this level in probably a year since they made it, or we were working on it originally. And of course, since it's not in the game, I didn't end up going back into this level and rescripting any of it either, so... Kind of a fresh look for me as well as for you guys. Because I assume since it's not in the data files, you guys haven't exactly played it either. Alright, coming up on this lever here. Let's see if we get a camera pan. We do. There's the heavenly choir and the burning statue. There's a bunch of light rays that used to come out of the ceiling onto that. And it looks like they're gone. And like I said, I think this light map is out of position. And it probably belongs over there further, so that the actual store is lit up. Because otherwise, that camera pans kind of all to a you know dark shadowy area. Ooh, there we go. To a dark shadowy area, as I was saying. So again, we've got some weirdness with these uh, lights here floating off in the air. They belong probably against the wall. Not sure how they got moved, but uh, that's what they're doing. Here we are in the furniture store. I guess there's nowhere we can really go in there. Yeah, let's see if we can get a look at the sign here. Grandpa Rugburns. <laughs> All right, there's the grind house. Can't get in there just yet. Maybe there's something we can do. Let's kill some zombies. Oh, look, there's a switch. All right, there we go. And look, they've got the uh, beams on the boxes. We were going to do that for a while, and then we stopped doing that. There you can see those boxes have beams on them. And I believe those beams were scripted onto them. All right, coming out here, we've got a TNT plunger. That's going to let us go down this way. Checkpoint reached. There we go. It doesn't look like there's anything keeping us from going to the end of the level, so that must have been uh, opened up. Originally, at one point, this part was mandatory. That looks a little odd there. 
don't know if that's the best place to have collapsed that floor, but like I said, this is a pre-production level. Well, not pre-production level, this is an early production level. So uh, a lot of the things that could have been smoothed out about it haven't quite been smoothed out yet. Oh yeah, and, that, and there's no store under there. There would definitely at least be a store under there, which would make that make a lot more sense. Alright, oh, there we go. We've triggered a trap now. The zombies coming out of this store. There's a key monster. Imagine he's going to let us out of this room. Yes, he is. Oh, sweet, a speed boost. Oh, well. I'll go back and fight all these guys. Get some Madame Curie action in. Boom! Take that, zombies! Alright. Heading over this escalator. There's a photo booth. At one point in time, the idea was for these photo booths to be spawners. And they would flash, and a zombie would come out. And then they would flash, and a zombie would come out. And it'd be pretty fast. It'd be like, psh, zombie, psh, zombie, psh, zombie. And then you'd have to go up and, like, interact with it to shut it down or something. Alright. Oh, there's a big pile of TNT. See how there's no lighting over here? I think this light map is in the wrong place. Someone probably nudged it, or maybe they were just loading in a generic light map for uh, testing purposes. Alright. I know there are some changes to the way the light maps work, too, so maybe the light map is just old and the engine isn't handling it properly. Alright. Zombies coming from all over the place. Getting surrounded here. Not a problem for the Lady of Radiation. There's probably a good pun in there somewhere I could think of. If I think of the pun before I finish these videos, I'll let you know. Let's see. Oh, look, we've got the Peter Pearl's storefront. That was missing in the level editor. So somehow it managed to survive in the actual client. Um, if this level had stayed in, though, that probably would have been bulked up and cleaned up and retextured, but there you've got it. Let's see what happens in here. And the burglar spawns in the corner. So that was kind of anticlimactic. Oh, we had a statue fall over. I forgot the statues fell over. Oh, that's right. That's one of the mechanics in this fight, is you try to knock the statues over. Oh, it looks like they didn't do that, though. But, again, oh, yep, there he goes. Oh, I think they've scripted it so he can knock the statues over. That's kind of cool. They've knocked over a number of statues here. Down he goes. So there goes the burglar. Like I said, uh, I wouldn't be too harsh on the uh, scripting of this level or on the balance of it. I am using powerful characters and... It was uh, just the first draft, but uh, here we go, and it's got no music, so it's got to feel a little anticlimactic. But that is the first level of the game in all of its uh, glory, at least as far as we developed it. All right, well, that wraps things up for the first level, and I'll see you in the next level.